This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Well, you'll be disappointed to hear that Larsa Pippen and Malik Beasley have broken up. Her rep did confirm the news to E. And, you know, they first were spotted holding hands in November of last year. But now they have called it quits. According to her rep, they said that the distance got to be tough for the pair. He's 24 years old. He's based in Minnesota. He's on the Timberwolves. But things got hard with travel. It was more of a timing thing. They're still in communication, but not together. Now, school me because I don't be keeping up with these people's business. I thought that was Scottie Pippen's wife. Remember, remember they were going through problems. Yeah. Then she allegedly started talking to Future. Then she went back to Scottie Pippen. And now she got a divorce again. And then she was holding hands with Mike Beasley. He got caught. That was the one he got caught with, right? Malik. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Malik Beasley. And then she got caught. Remember his girl. And Malik, him? by the way, also just had a two year old. So that's at not Scottie Pippen's wife and- no more. I don't think, maybe, not, I think, they're not, not divorced, anymore. right? She's mm-hmm. the estranged wife, but they're still married. Yeah, they're still married. Hmm. Okay. They filed, He filed for divorce in 2016. She refiled in 2018. So I guess they're still working things through for the divorce. You got to drop my not last name together. if you out here, uh, you know, popping it with all these other guys. Please, can you just drop my last name? Well, they have Yo, four kids I'm together. Kinda, she I'm, might want to have the same name as her kids. No, nah, I don't want you to have nah. my last name. I'm kind of with you, too. Like, you nah, running around, you man. Nah, 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 take, nah. Take, I need that back. Mm-mm. Uh, you know, you know. I mean, they have kids. They have a whole family together. I got she sneakers wanted... named after me. <laughs> you can't have that last name. It's jerseys with that last name on the back. No. There's nothing he could do about it. Got to be. Right? They have to be. Oh, All no. right. Mm-mm. Exhibit is learning a lesson about the weed company that he has, Napalm. It's been banned from an L.A. dispensary and Napalm Cannabis. It's been dragged online. It's... Basically, a reminder of a chemical agent that was used in firebombs during the Vietnam War that killed and maimed innocent citizens. Mm. And so here is what Exhibit had to say, uh, basically, about why he got the name Napalm. The word Napalm is, is definitely synonymous with war and being used as a weapon. And if you know anything about me and my body of work, you know, I got albums called Weapons of Mass Destruction and Man vs. Machine. So this album here is called Napalm. I put this album out in 2012, but this is where the branding for Napalm came from, as you can see. And it transcended into how we build, you know, our cannabis company. Has hip-hop gotten too big? Has hip-hop gotten too big that we're on everybody's radar? Yeah, but Napalm is a jelly-like gasoline used in firebombs, right? It's, It's a substance, right? Mm-hmm. I have no idea what napalm is. I, I, honestly, it's a chemical agent. It's a chemical, right? It's, I, and it's supposed to be highly, you know, whatever. I know it's a chemical, yeah, but I've heard so many rappers say the word napalm and raps and everything else for years. So I'm wondering, has hip-hop gotten too big that we're just on too many radars now? And people also had issues with a, a pre-roll joint known as the grenade. They didn't like these references, cavalier references oh to deadly weapons God. of war. Here's what else Exhibit had to say about oh uh, napalm. Goodness. As a black man... I understand discrimination and hatred. So just to clarify the position that we have at Napalm Cannabis, we by no means acknowledge, justify, or feel as though that we are promoting violence um, towards the Asian community. We stand with the Asian community. We plan to do many, many things for our community and within our community, not just the cannabis community, but the community at large. What's the tie-in with the Asian community? Uh, well, it was used oh, against okay. Japan okay. in World gotcha. War II, gotcha. it and it was banned Vietnam internationally well. in 1980 by the UN. And so it was also used in firebombs during the Vietnam War. But when, it when killed I, when I heard a lot of Napalm innocent citizens from him, I didn't think of any of that. I just thought it was a gasoline, I, like something that's so high. Does this mean Bruno? it's probably not triggering for you? Maybe it's triggering for some other people. So but this, it's, in a, it's a definition in. The, it, so what's next? Uh, is, uh, because if, of how it was used. If Outkast does a Asian. reunion show, they can't do bombs over Baghdad. If Bruno Mars, can Bruno Mars do uh, drop a grenade for you? Is that out the window now, too? I'm just trying to see where this stops. I don't know. Listen, I guess if you're trying to have a brand that can universally appeal to people, if a group of people doesn't like the name of it and it's a triggering name for them, then... They have the right to say that. But Napalm, now, whether or not you decide to change the name of your brand is a, on you. It's a form of gasoline, though. Like, it's a form of gasoline. Like, it's, it's a definition in the dictionary as 
a jelly-like substance Wrong. form of gasoline. Wrong. Yeah, but it's not because of that. It's the use on civ- this use on civilians was banned internationally in 1980 by the UN. All I know because is... of the destruction and killing that it caused when they used it as fire bombs. I'm with it, but just know that they're coming for Bruno Mars next when it comes to grenade and no more gasoline dramos. I know that gets <laughs> those no parties. Gasolina. No more gasoline dramos. Oh my goodness! All right. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. All right. Hmm. Charlemagne! Yes. Who are you giving that down to? You know, I think we need to go to Breakfast Club Court this morning. Uh, I'm going to lay out the case for you, but we need uh, the truth, Paul Pierce, to come to the front of the congregation. We would like to have a word with him. I don't know if Paul Pierce deserves a hee-haw or not, but I'll let y'all decide. All right. We'll get to that next. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 